what's up you guys gonna try and do something uh, a little bit different this time I've, I've talked about it on my blog I know not a lot of people follow the blog and I've talked about it on here and you know what not a lot of people on here either the goal is that eventually people will follow this channel and follow the blog and all that kind of stuff but um, I've talked about doing some ASMR style videos and if you're not familiar with that uh, I've put some links up before but if if you're simply not familiar with it check it out ASMR um, basically my first exposure to ASMR came from Bob Ross um, everybody knows who Bob Ross is you know he used to tap the little brush and we all heard all those sounds well you didn't know necessarily if it affected you uh, like it did me you didn't know necessarily what to call it when you got what ASMR people refer to as tingles. Um, we didn't know what to call it back then, but they've, um, I guess they developed a term for it. I just thought, you know, it sounded nice. And that was about as far as I knew to go with it. So, uh, turns out, I don't know, I, I was watching Bob Ross in the 80s and 90s, so it turns out 20 some years later, there's a term for that. And uh, I very much uh, react to what they're talking about, ASMR. It's um, something that, like I said, I've dealt with since I, or I've noticed since I was a kid. And some people don't get it. If you don't get it, this video is going to suck. Well, maybe not, because, you know, you can see my awesome Mario Kart 8 uh, pillowcase here that's serving as the tabletop. And uh, what I'm going to be doing today, it's different types of sounds that um, cause these triggers or tingles or whatever you want to call them and I was looking through different styles of videos to do and one of the ones that came up that I was interested in was putting together some Legos now this is a 94 piece uh, Lego set it's it's a little miniature let's see if I can stand it up here maybe we can see it's a little miniature mini Falcon with a little miniature Han Solo and it's for ages 6 to 12, which means hopefully I can handle it. It's from the line called uh, Micro Fighters. And so we turn it around here. You can see there are six different Micro Fighters. You can check them out at lego.com slash Star Wars. And there's actually, up here on the top, you can see there's an app for this. Uh, I guess you can, like, scan them in. I don't know. But I thought Legos would be a cool way to do this, and I've, I've had this for a little while, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, jeez. was not expecting that. So we'll set the box over there and see if, uh, see if it looks anything like what I'm trying to make. Um, come in these little baggies and I will say this um, some people whisper when they do ASMR some people uh, talk softly like what I'm doing now I can't do a ton of that because for whatever reason I cannot get my microphone to increase the volume it was really quiet the other day whenever I tested this mic out so um, I can't really do a ton of whispering and I don't know how much sound we're going to pick up here, but I've got my trusty instructions, and we're going to, you know, there are no, I always find this interesting about Legos, you may notice there are almost no words, maybe that's because I'm on the French side, or the Spanish, I don't know, it doesn't actually say microfighters, it says it in like every other language but English, okay, anyway, I'll keep the instructions over here. And we'll open the packages up. <laughs> I don't think I've built Legos since I was like 10. Maybe a little older, I don't know. My cat, of course, has come to join. I don't know what his deal is with this new room, but he really enjoys it. So, 
uh, the first step that they give me here is to pick out all the little Han Solo bits. Okay, we got Han Solo torso and Han Solo head, Han Solo hair, Han Solo blaster, and Han Solo legs. I never knew. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see. Nope, it's just not going to focus, is it? I had no idea. Look at this. Let's see if we can zoom. Or focus. Han Solo's pants are blue. I never realized that, and I've watched those movies a lot. Anyway, we'll put Han together. Put his hair on, that's very important. Gotta have that fancy hair that they had back then. I'm disappointed that Legos don't make more of a clicking noise now. I feel like Legos clicked when I was a kid. Alright, Han Solo's done. We'll let him stand over there. Maybe. How about we sit in there? There we go. Oh, and he fell over anyway. Okay, the first little picture says I need one of these and one of these. So, stick that there. And then some kind of strange bracket looking device. If you see the strange bracket looking device, please point it out. Now, I picked the Star Wars Legos for the first video because I figured that pretty closely relates to what I normally do on here, you know. We've done Power Rangers, and we've done Mario, and we've done all sorts of nerdy things. I figure this is a fair correlation. I'm guessing that's going to be like a seat or something there. But anyway, um, I actually wanted to do my first video on the um, uh, Mario Kart series that they put out a little while ago. Unfortunately, by the time I felt comfortable doing this, they had already sold them all. And, uh, and that line was like out of production or whatever. And I don't think it was actually Lego. I think it was like Connects or something like that, which I guess is like a subsidiary of Lego. But uh, that wasn't available. Oh, look at that. He looks like the Millennium Falcon now. Um, so those weren't available, and I was like, well, what else can I do? I don't know if you guys know this. Legos are ridiculously expensive. You cannot get Legos cheaply. It doesn't matter what kind you want. Uh, whether you're looking for Nintendo Legos or just plain old fashioned Lego Legos, mm -mm. not cheap, my friends. So I wasn't about to test this out for the first time with um, like a $40 set of Legos, mostly because they're Legos. That's ridiculous. I wonder if my parents paid that much for all the Legos I had when I was a kid. I seriously doubt it. I feel like I would have had zero video games if, uh, if that had been the case. And I definitely have video games. Let's see. And now that piece goes right there. Look at that. We're just coming right along, aren't we? I don't know if those are supposed to be like engines. I don't know what that little blue thing's supposed to be, but it's something. This one actually <laughs> is interesting. If you look at the instructions, the blue things are black on top, but I have the blue things, and I assure you, there are no black bits on top. 
not that you guys can see that anyway. Whatever. I'm over Zoom and focus and all that. All right, we've made it all the way to step five. Goodness, just moving right along. Now there are these. I always hated these when I was a kid. I was like, what is this thing's purpose? And the real purpose, which I found out much later in life, is just to be able to take and snap those onto the front and do it that way. Who knew, huh? When you're a kid, you get Legos. There are really only a couple of things you're concerned with. One of those are four block pieces, and one is two block pieces. Nobody wants the single blocks. I mean, what am I going to build with that? It's just a stupid little piece that they throw in there because they feel like they have to. Ain't nobody got time for that. Also, my cat's trying to get in. I have more than one cat, if people at home are wondering. My gosh. Can't you keep that cat out? Well, no. I can't, because there's more than one. The dogs don't really seem to care. Cats are very interesting. There's all these translucent pieces, too. So I've put the little blue things, and then we put little blue things on the little gray thing. And now we're going to put more blue things on either side of the gray thing with blue things. And that is the back end of the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> that does not look canon. <laughs> I was talking to somebody about the um, the trailer for the new movie, which I'm thrilled to see, by the way. Um, I thought J.J. Abrams did a really nice job with the Star Trek franchise, recently bringing it back. And I'm pretty excited to see what he can do with Star Wars, but I was talking to somebody about that, and I said, you know, there's really no pleasing people. People got all up in arms about the black stormtrooper. Really? <laughs> like, that's what you're picking on? The black stormtrooper? Is this the 1940s, 50s, something like that? It's a galaxy far, far away. They probably don't even notice. They're just like, brah, whatever. Get out here and kill people. And that's pretty much all stormtroopers do, right? All right. And then, when the first trailer came out, and I apologize if I'm spoiling these for you, but you've had some time now. Uh, when the first trailer came out, people were upset because there was a... Um, the lightsaber had a basically like a hilt guard on it. I don't know what you call that thing, but um, well, here I'll demonstrate. <laughs> this was the regular blade, and then little red things sticking out the side. So the whole thing's red, right? And they're like, "Oh my gosh, what are those two stupid beams sticking out of the side?" Well, they're whatever the heck J.J. Abrams wants them to be. Get over it. It'll be okay. It's Star Wars. I actually like to joke about Star Wars fans. I'm like, mm. Star Wars. Yes, Star Wars. I grew up on Star Wars and Star Trek. But I never took it as seriously as some people. Like, I have nothing against people that want to show up at cons and dress up. That's great. I've done that. I dressed up as a really bad version of the Green Ranger at uh, Wizard World in Nashville a few years ago. But um, some people just get a little too serious for my taste. They're like, oh my gosh, that's not canon. Yeah, well, who wrote the canon? If it's the guy that's making the movie, or in this case, the guy that's been entrusted with re-igniting uh, the franchise, 
It's canon. And I can assure you who didn't write the movie, or write the canon, and that's you. Unless your name's George Lucas, then you can complain. Wow, we're all the way up to step 12, and I've only ranted once. Yeah, I don't really know if I'm doing this ASMR thing right. I, I feel like when I get the tingles from watching other people's ASMR videos, it's usually um, just people talking. And as I've said in some other videos, I work in radio. People claim I have a good talking voice. And hopefully, in these videos, I kind of bear that out. But I honestly don't know what you're supposed to do. Or if there even is a supposed to do. I just know there are some folks out there that I like to watch. That uh, my favorite things to watch with them are when they're just talking into the microphone and talking about what's going on and the other noises. That kind of stuff is usually secondary to just them kind of speaking. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. What is that? Look at this piece. Like when I was a kid, I would have just thrown that out. I was never real big on the kids. I did have this one kid, and don't tell anyone, but it was Mega Blocks, not uh, Legos. Whoops. But I had this one kit that was like, um, it was a giant spaceship, and I was a huge space nerd. And it was like a, a rocket with a capsule, and it made sound effects. And I really like that. But that was pretty much it. I didn't have... I mean, I got some sets and things like that, but um, most of mine were just plain Jane, old school Legos. Because do you really need the other stuff? You can pretty much make all the other stuff with... Like Now, see, this is one of those things. Look at this. That attaches to the bottom of the Lego. That's wrong. It's supposed to attach to the top. My cat is so intrigued. He wants to get up here and, like, destroy this whole process. I'm going to try not to let that happen. He already knocked the camera over once, but hopefully. Emphasis on hopefully. I edited that out. If I didn't, you already saw. Interesting. I was honestly kind of wondering, because if you've ever noticed this little area in here on the Millennium Falcon, like between the two prongs, uh, is kind of angled. I was wondering how they were going to do that. It's because this part tilts. What? It's crazy. One major mystery solved. I'm sure many more to come. I'm also kind of confused by like the process here. Like you build something in the middle and then let's come add something over here on the side. Just cause. I'd really like to know like if any of you guys are interested in the the new film. Do you think it's a joke? I'm pretty excited about it myself. That and... I mean, I'm a typical nerd, let's be real. I'm going to go see uh, Age of Ultron on Friday. Well, I intend to go see Age of Ultron on Friday. We're down to the time of year where... I've got a whole lot going on at work because we are in the middle of baseball and softball season. Well, actually, we're at the end of baseball and softball season, and that's what I do. I call baseball and softball games, so um, it's tournament time for us.
it's a real pain in my butt. I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong, but we're talking like games every night, and this Friday is definitely, uh, there's definitely a potential for me to wind up doing a baseball or softball game as opposed to seeing Avengers, so, you know, yay money, boo missing out on Avengers. This thing's coming together way easier than it should be. I should be having some problems. Although, definitely proving that I'm older than 6 to 12, which was the requirement. Needed to be able to handle that. Look, Mom, so far so good. <laughs> Going back to the ASMR stuff, you know, there's uh, there's a few things that I've thought about trying. I actually would like to try my hand at some painting videos, like Bob originally did. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, also, might try uh, some more of these soft speaking videos. I think that's I think that's pretty standard, pretty basic stuff. I I've done unboxings on the channel all along, so we'll definitely do those if that's something that um, you happen to like. If it's not, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do about that, but I really enjoy most people. If you're if you're new to this concept, I guess I was. Um, I guess I've been watching that type of video for a few months now, maybe eight or nine months, something like that. But I, I just happened across it. Actually, you know what? I know exactly what turned me on to it. It was um, Finn Gamer, who has a great video game channel, if you've never checked it out. He started an ASMR channel, and rightfully so. He has one of the best voices I've ever listen to um, but he started an ASMR channel up and I watched it and he explained kind of what it was you know you hear certain sounds and they like I said earlier they trigger a, um, a response and uh, I became pretty interested in that at that point so okay now this is interesting to me I'm putting this on here you guys see this look We just covered it up. There's literally no way to see that in there. Wasted Lego. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't, um, if you've never seen Finn Gamer's uh, channel, you should check it out. Um, just go look him up. He's really easy to find. Um, he's got a video game channel, though. This guy has a complete, not just a complete in-box Nintendo 64 collection, but complete in-box with uh, all the manuals, all the paperwork, but to wrap it all up, he's also got the little plastic baggies that the games used to come with. Now. I didn't have an N64 growing up, so I would not have known to even look for that, but I I kind of agree with him. He talks about this when he talks about his 64 collection. He says, you know, uh, a lot of people, that's the first thing you throw away. You get it, you get the game, you pull it out, the baggie comes off, and even if you keep the instructions and the manuals and all the brochures and everything, surely you throw the um, 
sure that you throw the instructions away. Well, apparently there were enough people out there that didn't <laughs> to let him collect all those games, and he's working on a complete, uh, a complete Wii U set right now, which is actually a good idea if I had more money, which you guys can help by subscribing below and you know liking videos and stuff but uh, no I'm kidding I make literally no money off of this um, but yeah if I made more money that would probably be a good start I'm trying as much as I can to play catch up with uh, with the current generations I'm in the process of getting a PlayStation 4, I'll have an unboxing for that in a couple of months. Getting the Arkham or uh, Arkham Knight edition. So I'll have a video for that coming up. But uh, yeah, if I had more capital, I would certainly look into a complete Wii U collection. He did bring up a really good point, though, when you're talking about the uh, Wii U you're not necessarily dealing with a small, I mean it is a small library, but so are the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 right now. What you deal with most with those is the bloatware, you know, these ridiculous games. For example, let's say, look, it'll be a little slide. Anyway, let's say you were um, going for a complete collection on the uh, PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One, one of the glorious games that you would have to look forward to is Farming Simulator 2015. Doesn't that just sound like a smashing title? And I think that's one thing that if you go back to the older... Sorry, not the oldest consoles, but some of the mid-level consoles, or the middle generation consoles, like, for example, the um, Nintendo 64, uh, I think the GameCube, too. You had, you had less awful game titles. I mean, you still had some bad titles, don't get me wrong, but less awful game titles, like... I mean, it was kind of revolutionary, I guess, but Nintendogs, Nintendo Cats, whatever those were, um, you know, everything getting its own licensed movie game, stuff like that really bogs down the um, software for a console. I mean, you look at some of the stuff you can pick up. I mean, even on the GameCube, which a lot of people say was an underwhelming library as far as how many games were there for it. And that's true. But you wind up with titles like... Uh, I'm trying to think of something that I have played recently. I don't know. It's not coming to me at the moment. You know, I'm not real sure how this is supposed to go. Go like that? Hmm. Well, something like that. It's weird. Um, you know, there are a lot of titles, though, that you just don't care about. Sports games, for example, I mean, they serve their purpose, and we all get that, but... Lots of people could do completely without the sports games. Uh, oh, I see the problem. I had that last piece we were looking at on the wrong way. Apologies. And then I dropped it in the floor. That needs to go on. He 
easier said than done. It needs to go on like this. And then this clips on here. It's like watching a monkey do something in a cage. Except I should be smarter than the average monkey. Okay. And now, because, you know, what's the Millennium Falcon without a firing mechanism? Anyway, going back to what I was talking about, you know, you have to pick up some of these ridiculous games if you want a complete collection. And I think for some people, that uh, sucks a lot more than we realize. You wind up with a wall full of games and a whole lot of stuff that uh, you don't necessarily want to play. Also worth noting, I have a complete list of, I almost said ingredients, for the Millennium Falcon here. But they gave me extras. What are these? They're spares. Look at that. We finished the Millennium Falcon. And Han, if we flip his little arm up, can just snap right down in there. How nice is that? Alright, so this is the... Uh, the first attempt I've got at um, an ASMR style video. I know I kind of rambled in this one. If there are things that you guys would like to see in these videos, stuff that would help with these videos, um, let me know in the comment section down there. Not on the Millennium Falcon, but like at the bottom. Yeah. Let me know down there. Um, if you like these, certainly let me know what you like, what you enjoyed. Um, and also, you know, comments, um, subscriptions, those are all great. But hopefully you'll come back. Hopefully I'll do more of these. Oh, I feel like those are supposed to fire, not just fall out. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think. This is just something I want to try and do. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But right now I have like 95 subscribers. So what is working? Um, anyway. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.